Alright, I'm back. No more side quests. We are going straight to the end of the game today. Anyways, uh, where the hell am I? So I had found myself in a place called Faramazula. It's a massive floating oh, cathedral in the sky, Hello, and there are dragons lurking around every corner. I tried fighting this first one, but I had to hit the skedaddle. He was too strong. And then, once I thought I was safe... See, what did I tell you? There are dragons around every freaking corner out here. What Anyways, I made it to the next actual boss, and imagine my shock when there's two of them that I gotta fight at once. Boy, do I love these battles. They are so fun. I'm not even exactly sure how this one works, because there's two of them, but I had to kill them three times to actually kill them. But I killed them, and we're moving on, so let's get going. After adventuring a little further, I stumbled upon, oh you'll never guess this, another dragon. But not just any dragon, this is the Lord of Dragons. Holy moly. Alright, I'm about to butcher his name, but whatever. Dragon Lord Placidusex drops down from his cocoon and I start running into battle. I know I've been talking mad shit on dragons this episode, but I really cannot diss this man. This was a cool ass boss fight. He's out here shooting lasers and summoning lightning. Shit is looking dicey. But I was able to run in and get the killing blow at the last minute, so I don't think we're going to be dealing with any more dragons anytime soon. Alright, so I've made it to the top of Farmazula now, and there's only one more dude we gotta kill in order to get off this rock. It's some dude called the Beast Clergyman. While he is super fast, he's also not really that hard. I was able to get him down to half health pretty easy, which started his phase 2. He falls over and apparently has some kind of jewelry on his hand. Uh, and he stabs it and uses it to reveal his actual badass armor. I've got no idea what's actually happening here, but he looks cool, so let's get on with the fight. So I said the first half of this fight was pretty easy, but as soon as phase 2 starts, it goes from 0 to 100 in about 5 seconds. He is just bombarding me with attacks until... Oh hell no, that is not happening again. This time I brought my Mimic and we are about to embarrass this boy. Let's go, you know what they say, 14.39 seconds is all I need. What did he say? I also don't really know what's happening here but I touch the little red thingy and it brings me back home. But whenever we get back, things are not the same as we left them. I wake up in Landell, but the capital does not look like how we left it. It's covered in ash and soot, and that can only mean one thing. The plan worked. We were successful in burning down the air tree, which should mean there's an opening that I can go through and become Elden Lord. So, let's get going. Straight out of the gate after I go up these stairs, there's just this old codger yapping about I don't even know what, so I'm not even gonna let him finish his monologue. I'm just gonna get straight to swinging. Uh, okay, no, no, pretend that didn't happen. Let's just run it back. Yeah! Yeah! Get him! Oh, oh my god. I swear that we got him. Somehow, we got him. There was explosions everywhere. We got him. Doesn't matter. Moving on. We have made it, once again, to the base of the air tree. And once again, there's another boss waiting for us right at the foot of it. Wanna guess what happens? We beat him. Again. Honestly, it sounds kind of crazy to say, but after fighting all of these guys, like right after I fought Melania, it just like makes them seem so much easier compared to her. I was flying through all the bosses. But after a long and hard journey, we have made it inside the air tree. So let's see what's waiting for us. Inside the tree, 
is the last thing standing between me and becoming Elden Lord. As the cracks start to form, my opponent falls, and the final battle begins. Oh, and it turns out that this guy that I'm about to fight is literally the Elden Ring. At least I think, if I'm if I'm understanding this correctly. Alright, let's go. Fight! At first, I was a little hesitant to attack him and go all in. I was just kind of getting a feel for it. I wasn't sure like exactly how hard this was going to be compared to Melania, but it turns out this is a lot easier than her. That's not to say that this isn't hard, because it definitely is. I died a lot, but the Bloodhound's Fang and the Mimic is just insane. I swear that sword carried me through the game. I am so thankful to Bloodhound Knight Darrowil. Thank you for giving me this sword. Look where I am now. You see, I thought it was over. I thought that was it. But the game had different plans for me, which I should have seen coming. It should have been obvious from a mile away. Because that's when a freaking beast crawls out of the void and the final boss is finally revealed. Mister the Elden Beast. Well, this is it. The for real, for real, final, last boss standing between me and beating this game. There's only one thing left to do, and that's fight. And I guess that's all there really ever has been to do in this, but that's okay. This has been such an enjoyable journey. Aggravating at times, so aggravating that I just want to smash my controller against the wall. But when you finally beat that boss, it's such a rewarding feeling, just like the fattest dopamine rush injected straight into your system. I think back on all the things that I thought I couldn't do, like just beating one boss in this game, or then beating Melania, or then even beating the final boss. But it turns out you can do all kinds of hard things you didn't think you'd be capable of. You just really have to try. Oh yeah, baby, let's freaking go. We got him. God slain. I am sorry, Christians, but we just killed God. And with that, we have one final task to do before our journey comes to a close. Take this dude's head, put it back on his body, fix the Elden Ring, and take our place as Elden Lord. Man, I've said it so many times already, and I'll say it again. This has been such a fun game, such an amazing journey, and I'm not ready for it to be over yet. Huh? What's that? Oh! They're coming out with DLC in June. I guess I'll see you guys then, for the final episode of Elden Ring Noob. If you could even call me that anymore.